Hey Mike, say stop and frisk. Stop and frisk. Hey, sure. oh. hey Mike, say stop and frisk. Stop and frisk. Hey, sure. oh. Racist piece of I got something important wrong. I got something important really wrong. I didn't understand that back then, the full impact that stops were having on the black and Latino communities. States, and uh, so in the end it turned out. White friends about terrorizing inner city youth. Okay. Oh, he, okay, thank you. That's all right. Thank you. I just wanted to thank him for making me feel like I was at home. 95% of your murders and murderers and murder victims fit one MO. You can just take the description, Xerox it, and pass it up all the time. They are male, minorities, 15, 21. That's true in New York, it's true in virtually every city. And that's where the real crime is. You've got to get the guns out of the hands of the people that get killed. So you've got to, if you want to spend the money for a lot of cops in the street, put those cops where the crime is, which means in minority neighborhoods. think about it, we, the intelligentsia, people who could make it into this room, um, we believe in a lot of things in terms of equality and protecting individual rights that make no sense to the vast bulk of people. They're not opposed to you having some rights, but there's a fundamental disconnect between us believing the rights of the individual come first and the general belief around the world, I think it's fair to say, that the rights of society comes first. And so, um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the, uh, the bathroom issue in, in, in the United States. Anybody know what I'm talking about? If you want to know, is somebody a good salesman, give them the job of going to the Midwest and picking a town and selling to that town the concept that some man wearing a dress should be in the locker room with their daughter. If you can sell that, you can sell anything. I mean, they just look at you and they say, what on earth are you talking about? And you say, well, this person identifies his or her gender as different than what's on their birth certificate. And they say, what, what do you mean? You're either born this or you're, or you're born that. Um, and, you know, I will say in our prison system in New York City, we have to have the policy when you walk in, you know, drop your trousers, you go this way, you go that way. That's it, because you can't sit there and you can't mix things in a jail. That's a practical case of where you have to make a decision. But it's so many things that we are nuanced and um, the issue, the social issues that we're very proud of. Uh, of achieving aren't believing aren't believed by the vast bulk of